We get introduced to the idea of vibrations very early on in our journey and we can do things specifically to increase our vibration, meaning increase that good feeling inside, or we can do things that dim our vibration or actively increase the bad feeling inside. I'm gonna go into five things that will affect your vibration, but five things, really five potent, powerful things that will increase and raise your vibration instantly. The first thing for me that will increase your vibration instantaneously will raise the levels of good feeling inside of you. That's all vibration really means is that good feeling inside or that negative feeling inside. High vibration, good feeling, low vibration, negative feeling. We do lots of things to stoke these up inside of ourselves, whether we're kind to ourselves and that stokes up a positive vibration or a positive feeling inside of us or whether we're quite nasty to ourselves and we dim that light. We, we create a negative uh, feeling inside, a low vibrational feeling. And we're, if we're really honest with ourselves, we're usually better at doing the latter. We're usually good at being quite hard on ourselves. You're not to blame. We pick these uh, habits up from the external world. We're conditioned usually from our family or friends to believe that we're not good enough, to believe, especially if you're on this journey or if you're an empath, to believe that you're you know, crazy, weird, you know, different, and that's fine, you are, you're charged in a different way. So, it's important to get this emotional education now that, that perhaps we, we haven't had, that, we, that we're missing, but that yoga teaches us. And there's five things that we can do to increase or raise our vibration instantly, raise that inner good feeling. Some of them are subtle, some of them are easy, some of them are hard, but we'll just get into it now. The first thing, is to stop lying. Be honest. To be honest instantly raises your vibration. There's two compartments to that really though, isn't there? There's being honest with ourselves and then there's being honest with the external world, meaning lies, even little white lies. The deeper you go into this, the more sensitive to your vibratory state you get, the more sensitive to the feeling inside you get, the more you'll notice that lying will dim it. Even if it is just a little white lie, you'll notice as well that you're karmically attached to those lies. It's like having a little bow and arrow. You know, what goes around comes around, and it's like having a little little bow and arrow boomerang shoot off. As soon as you lie, that stuff's going to come right back around with your name on it and shoot you in the ass. Yes, because you're doing sadhana, you'll be more equipped to deal with it, but come around again, it will. If you shoot a lie out, a lie will come back and you'll be karmically attached to that lie because somebody will make an assumption based upon that lie in themselves. They'll be like, all right, that's true, even if it's a lie through you. And then they'll act out their lives based upon that lie until they realize it isn't a lie. And you're attached to that, your karma is attached to that. Now, like I say, with sadhana, and if you wish, down below there's a free breathing practice which will help stoke up a feeling of a, a nice vibration. It will instantly increase your vibration. You can use that, it will create a nice feeling inside. Through that nice feeling, you'll see you're vibrant, you're alive, you're radiant. And if we lie, we'll notice, back to the video now, that we dim that, we dim that feeling. Now, like I say, if we do sadhana, like that breathing practice, it's free, it's down below, you can sign up we become more equipped because we have that spacious, blissful feeling, that high vibration inside of us, we become more equipped to deal with, you know, the what goes around, but the, the bit that comes around, the nasty bit that comes back at us if we've offered something low vibe out. We'll, we'll, we'll take that low vibe back from somebody else, but know that we were responsible for it somewhere along the line. Okay, the second one, the second thing to do I've learned just through yoga and through my practice that will uh, instantly increase your vibration instantaneously, instantly raise that good feeling inside of you, is to not bitch, to not judge other people. We notice that if we start especially, you know, gossiping, I don't want to say um, just girls do this because it's not, boys do this too. Like, 
We love a good gossip, we love a good bitch, don't we? A good moan about somebody else. But notice that what's implied in that is that we're better than them. You know, we believe genuinely in that moment that they're doing something wrong. We make that other person wrong in our mind and that's separation and that's low vibration. Because then you're not connected to that person. You've cut them off really quite curtly, really in quite a violent way by judging them. You've cut them off in your mind. It's like they're no longer part of my group or I don't see things the same way as them, which is fine. You don't have to see things the same way as them. That could just be an observation, but then it's a judgment when you make them wrong for them being that way. Oh, you're like that. Ugh. I'm not like that. I'm better. Look at me. I smell of flowers. When really, most of the time, and I only know this from my life, we smell of shit. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, 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 yeah, we really aren't, you know, in alignment with, with some of these yogic principles. I'm just talking about me. I'm speaking for myself here because, you know, we, as we start practicing these yogic principles like not lying, uh, not stealing, not gossiping, we begin to realise that actually we're a little bit, you know, we think we're good people, but sometimes we're not. I just know this from me. And that can be a sobering experience. But it's from that sobering experience that we then get to, you know, really go deeper into these principles and increase our vibration instantly with the next one, which is stop judging yourself. You know, to not judge yourself will keep this nice feeling. You'll notice if you do judge yourself, one, it's very violent towards yourself. Two, it hurts you. That hurt, that negative feeling that you're stoking up is low vibration. It's dimming your vibration. You can feel it. You can feel it happening. This isn't just, this, these aren't just nice words. These are real experiences that you're experiencing in your body. If you judge yourself, you feel it. It hurts you. Why are you doing it? You deserve so much better from yourself. You know, you decide, you, you deserve a, a high vibrational feeling, a nice feeling inside. And we do this by, by weaning out, by weaning out that judgment, especially the self-judgment, but also judgment of others. If you make somebody else wrong in your mind, it implies that you're right. And that's ugly because you don't know that you're right not all the time. You're not right all the time. My mum always says, oh, I know, because I'm always right. And I'm like, well, I see where I got that from. <laughs> but we're not. We have to be honest and humble in ourselves and have a nice bit of humility. We can call this the third one. The third thing that will increase your vibration instantly is humility. And that took me a while on this journey, you know? Because it's always like, I'm the best thing since sliced bread, you know? But we're not, especially after we've had a Kundalini awakening. Oh my word, or something erupts inside of us. It's like, I'm better than you because I'm now, God, I, you know, I, I know this experience inside of me. And it's just complete BS, really. It's arrogance. It's because the ego's grabbed hold of the experience of the Kundalini or, or whatever it is that goes on in you this nice feeling inside. It's grabbed hold of that experience and it makes everybody else less than because of it. You know, it's just the ego though, it's not us. So I suppose we can use that. Humility cuts through the ego and that can be the third, fourth, wherever we're at now, <laughs> thing that will instantly increase your vibration is humility. Be humble. Sometimes people you know, my teacher always used to say, you know, it's incredible that I've done all this work inside myself. But there are people that have gone further on the journey that can see more things than me. And you might be talking to somebody that can see more than you in, in life. And they might notice things in you. So it's good to be humble at all times because we're not always right. And in fact, we very rarely are, especially at the start of the journey. We need some humbling. We need some humility in ourselves so that we have this opening of grace inside of us for real good change to happen. But it won't happen if our walls are up and we're like, I'm right, you're wrong. I've had this experience. I know what's going on. And I had to deal with a client like that the other way. It's very tough without humility, without, okay, I'm open to listening to what you have to say without that. There's no, there's no opening for grace and there's no opening to increase our vibration. Humility just works. It makes you feel nice. <laughs> and it also lets the rest of the world know I'm open to being wrong because we have to be open to being wrong so that we can grow, right? And when we grow, that's an increase in vibration. That one's not quite instant, but you know, comes to the territory. Four, this one is so important, or five, I've lost count, but it doesn't matter, we'll keep going. This one's so key. To instantly increase your vibration, like instantly, is to stop believing in fear. Hear me out. Fear's gonna be there. 
right? We might see an ex walk down the street, boom, fear's there. That's fine, that's natural. But the kind of fear I'm talking about is fearing the ex walking down the street because it's something that's not happening and we're creating it in ourselves constantly. It's like, stop believing in that because that cuts your vibration. It's this heart sink. You know, it's, it's us imagining a lion's in the room about to eat us when it isn't, when we're just sat here, you know, watching, I don't know, Netflix. You know, it's, it's, it's this thing that our mind and our ego does that dims our vibration instantly. It creates fear, a fearful experience in us and anxiety, and, and anxiety in us that isn't relevant to this moment. And it's our choice, right? We can believe in fear, we can create that fear inside of us. Or we can just be aware of our inner feeling. You know, that's our choice, that's our real free will. We can create fear for ourselves, but you know, watch our vibration dip, watch that inner hurtful feeling come up, you know? Watch the anxiety spread and then the mind charge it and then it come back to anxiety and then the mind charge it and stoke the fire and it's this vicious cycle of low vibrational pattern that we need to cut with some sadhana, right? And if you wish to snap out of one of those moments again down below, I said it before, but there's a free breathing practice. There's a paid one too, you know? But if you wanna start with something free, just to see if it's something that you can really get into, it's called cosmic double breathing. It will detoxify, oxygenate, energize, relax your nervous system and create a nice high vibration. You'll see, I get people talking to me about the this in the group, our spiritual awakening group, that you're free to join as well. It's free, I'll never charge you for it. It's totally private too. Um, down below it's on Facebook, people will speak to me and they're like, every day pretty much, they're like, wow, you know, this actually is working. This is a great breathing practice. It instantly increases my vibration and it will. Like, there's nothing better than this breathing practice for that. And again, it's not my breathing practice, it's yoga's breathing practice. Like, I can't claim any, like, I didn't create it. Yoga created it and it's there for you. It's an ancient technology called cosmic double breathing. It just works for an instant spike in vibration. The last one, five or six, whatever we're on, I think I had an extra one there, ad lib, but number six, to instantly increase your vibration, like instant, like in the moment, like right now, this second, is to always trust your decisions. Always trust your decisions. Whatever decision you make, trust it. I often found in my early journey, and still do to some degree sometimes, I, I, I get these feelings of being lost. And am I making the right decision in my life? Am I going the right direction? Notice that, you know, in those moments, perhaps we're feeling a little bit lost, yes, but it's also like us, you know, subconsciously, not trusting our decisions in our lives. Like sometimes we get led to the spiritual awakening like this and things happen to us and explosions of bliss and ecstasy and we still question, you know, we, we still question, like, am I on the right path? And it's like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm just talking about me. It's like, you know, trust your decisions in life because they've got you this far, right? And we sometimes have this guilty mind sometimes in us that's like, um, we make a decision and we're always like, oh God, was it right? Or what if that person actually is nice and I just judged them too quick? And, but it's like you have ounces of proof to show otherwise. It's like, trust your decisions. Do not get manipulated manipulated by ideas of what if, what if this person's actually nice and I've made the wrong decision by cutting them out of my life. Just an example from my life and others that I speak to, you know? Or what if I'm going down the wrong path of this spiritual journey, even though I'm getting loads of spiritual experiences, they're changing my life, I'm becoming an awesome human being that I'm proud to be. Oh yeah, but what if I'm not going around the, the right journey? You know, it's silly sometimes. It's like trust your decisions because Guilt is low vibration, it'll dim your vibe. You know, oh, I'm making the wrong decision. Guilt, right, shame, horrible stuff that we, the, we're we choosing to do. Low vibe, but we're choosing to do it. Or we can just trust the decision. We don't even have to do anything to do that. We just have to not guilt trip ourselves, you know? It's like, trust every decision that you're making. Go with the flow. Synchronicities will guide you. You'll get your answers. Trust me, I'm getting mine. You know, I'm no different, I'm not special. This journey just works. And these are five or six things that I've noticed in me that will just instantly increase my vibration or things that will dim my vibration in ways that I don't need to. Notice, we're choosing it all. And I hope that you choose positivity for yourself rather than negativity. 
because negativity hurts and is low vibration. Positivity is great because it feels good and it's high vibration. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.